All right. Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead. Hips, ankles, no, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Shoulders back and down. Activate your core, get it supporting your spine. Sitting bones toward the floor, shoulders back and down. Spread your toes and sink in the mountain pose. Just take a moment focusing inward. Find your breath. Exhale all that stress and tension. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch the fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch to the front, shoulders down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Press them toward the floor and lift your heart. Nice upper body back bend. Don't lift your chin too high. Exhale, pivot over at your hips. Bring your hands toward the ceiling. Bring your chin in. Move it around. Let that neck start releasing a little bit. Lift your sitting bones. Stretch the back of your legs and your spine. And then knees slightly bent. Work your way all the way up. Lift your heart. Drop your shoulders. And stretch your head back away. Don't crunch your neck. And don't forget to breathe. Feel that whole body lengthening. On an inhalation, come up, release your arms, and take a moment just noticing your body responding to that energy flow. And again, inhaling, arms out to the sides. Exhale to your heart. Stretch to the front, shoulders down. And then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers in one position over there. Lift your heart again, stretch out through the top of your head. Exhale, pivot over. Hands up, head down. Move your arms around a little bit. Get the shoulders and neck starting to release. And again, chin in, sitting bones down. Lift your heart as you come into the upper body back bend one more time. Stretch through the whole spine. And don't forget to breathe. Inhale upright, release your arms. Focus again on what's going on for you today. Side stretches, let's keep the one arm down, the other arm out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, get everything stretching, and then lean over, no twist to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, feel the ribs. Lengthen a little bit more. Keep the arm by your ear. Both shoulders facing the front. Hips also. And then inhale to the top. Exhale that side down. Feel the difference. Your yoga. Noticing what's going on. And the opposite side. Arm out. Palm to the ceiling. Hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, get it lengthening on both sides, and lean to the opposite direction. And again, the foot goes down a little deeper, so then you feel those ribs even further opening. Make sure you're not leaning forward or looking up, just straight to the front. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Feel your body a little bit more sideways open and our spine stretch for our twists. So base of the skull, base of the spine, stretch apart as you bring your arms again, shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Bring your arms next to your ears, pull the shoulders, shoulder blades, and the sitting bones down, and reach the crown high. Exhale, turn for a twist in your direction. And then breathing in, exhale over. Deepen as much as you'd like. Lift your sitting bones, relax, and allow that twist forward bend just to deepen as much as you need. Keep the weight on both feet, and on an inhalation, stay in the twist all the way up. And again, upper body only back bend. Remember, no pressure in that lower back while you're twisting. Take a breath, shoulders down, breathing, stretching. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, switching your arms around. And again, lengthening that spine apart, 
Exhale, turn to the other side. Take a breath and exhale over. And again, just deepen as far on this twist as you like. Lift the sitting bones for a little more back stretch. And inhale your way up in the twist into another upper body only that Bring your shoulders, shoulder blades down and pull your elbows back. Lift your arm. Inhale up, exhale around to the center. Shoulders stay down as you bring your fingertips toward the ceiling. And then stretch up on one side, coming up on your opposite toe. So the side you stretch, the foot stays flat. Lengthening again through the ribs, through the side. Exhale that one down and inhale the other one. And again, just maximize on that side, lifting the opposite heel. Exhale down. Let's do it again. Stretch it up and release and stretch again. Other side. And both feet down, both arms up. Shoulders, shoulder blades, sitting bones toward the floor. Stretch up through the fingertips in your head. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. Small and belly, so arms to shoulder level. Palms toward the floor, pivot at your hips, chest leading. Come as far toward the front as you feel right. Stretch it out, everything straight. And then drop in the rag doll, chest hang. Take a moment, breathe in. Tuck in your chin, pull in even deeper hands behind your legs, get a good stretch on the whole back of your body. And then arms to the front, and slowly work your way up. Shoulders back and down, coming back into mountain pose once more. So again, feel your spine more activated, and don't forget to go. Shoulders relaxing. And let's bring your hands to your heart. Elbows out. Look at the hands, bringing them toward the ceiling. Keep looking at your thumbs coming into your back down. Lift your heart a little bit more. Pull your chin slightly toward your chest. Stretch out through the back of your neck. Exhale, follow your hands to your heart. Give it on over, rag it all once more. Deepen as far as you'd like to go. Just let that whole upper body hang. Move your chin around, circling in all directions. Slide your hands up under your knees, a halfway up stretch. So keep stretching through the back of your neck. Keep the shoulders, shoulder blades, sitting bones going, stretching behind you. And the crown the opposite direction. Everything long through the spine. Elbows, knees, spine, everything straight. And then drop into rag doll. Parking your chin. And let's wind up again from the bottom of the spine all the way to the top. Shoulders back and down. And again, mountain pose, just feeling that whole upper body more activated. Bring your chin into your throat center. Feel the back of the neck start stretching a little bit. And then roll your chin to one shoulder. Lift your chin and look up toward the ceiling. Move the chin to the center. And then over toward the other side. And then looking down toward your shoulder. And rolling back to the neck. Keep your shoulders the whole way around, even and away from your ears. Do the same direction again. Over to the side, up to the ceiling, look overhead, again to the other side, down towards your shoulder, to the center. One more circle that way, just going at your own pace all the way around, just slowly making that whole next circle. And then when you're back at the center, pause, and roll the other way. So, over to the shoulder, up toward the ceiling, to the middle, to the other side, up, and then down to your shoulder, rolling across to the center. Same direction, roll to the side, up, middle, 
other side down and roll into the center. Final time. One more time. And move the shoulder all the way around. Over to the opposite side. And again to the middle. Inhale, take your head upright. Take a moment feeling your neck area and your spine. Hands together. And again, inhale, bring your hands toward the seal. Thumbs to the back, coming into that upper body back bend. And lifting your head. Exhaling, follow your hands, pivot on over, drop into it. Slide your hands up under your knees for our halfway up stretch. One more time. Exhale and drop. Bend your knees and all the way to child's pose, transitioning down. So hips on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down toward the floor. Take a few breaths, let the shoulders slump forward. Exhale any time. Feel that whole spine stretch open behind you. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels. Oh, let's come into a cross leg position. So just coming into just a gentle cross leg position with the sitting bones behind you. And if you need padding, remember you can always pad behind you for a little pelvic tilt to open the hips. You can switch your legs to your non-habitual cross as we get started, because that's always a good idea. Balancing out the hips. Bring your chin into that front center indentation. Let everything relax. Remember, core is activated, supporting your low back, and the shoulders are right above your hips. And then bring your hands one at a time to the back of the head, no pressure. Just a little extra weight. Feel the back of the neck stretch a little bit more. Exhale. Let it relax even deeper. Breathe in. Releasing tension. Let that whole neck area get a good stretch. Chain into that little throat center and notch at the base of the throat. Feel the upper back, let it relax. Deepen into that awareness of the neck. Letting it release any tightness. And then releasing your hands, tip your head back upright. Feel a little more circulation in your neck. And then lift your chin, stretch the front of your throat. But remember, keep stretching out through the back of your neck also. So lengthening, move your jaw around, stretch the throat, move the jaw side to side, front and back. And then tip it back upright. Tuck in your chin and start at the top of your spine and just one bone at a time round forward, bringing your forehead down, ribs in, and just bowing down. Go as deeply as your body wants. You can bring your forehead all the way to the floor if you want to, but feel each bone of your spine winding forward as you do. Breathe in. Exhale. Tuck that chin around. See if you can get the forehead, even the crown on the floor. And then starting at the bottom of your spine, start stacking the bones of your back. All the way back up, rounding finally, coming back to your straight posture as you get all the way up. Keep stretching out through the base of the skull, up through the crook. And then starting at the bottom of the spine this time, just push it slightly back, rounding through your back, tucking the chin in as it gets all the way up to the neck. And again, just bring your forehead down and forward toward the floor. Let's see each other. And then inhale, bring your face forward, lengthen through the back of the neck as you bring your whole upper body up. And again, bringing the spine one bone at a time into place 
as you sit back up. At the moment, as you get to the top, lengthen up through the whole hands at your sides. Inhale the arms over your shoulders. And as you exhale, turn to the side into a twist, into the outside of your knee, the other hand behind you. Stretch up through the spine, get it really open. Exhale, that back hip comes slightly up as you turn your hips, ribs, and shoulder to look toward the back. Take a breath. Deepen into that twist as far as you want. And then lengthening up through the top of your head, exhale and turn your head only the opposite direction toward that shoulder that's in front. Come around as far as it wants to go. Feel that twist changing along your whole spine. Breathing, just relax into it. And then again, exhale, turning your head to the back. Inhale, lifting your arms, turning your whole body back to the center, and releasing your arms. Switch your legs around. Coming back into your cross leg position, sitting bones behind you. Again, hands at your sides. Inhale them out and up, right above your shoulders. Stretch it out. Stretch your spine apart. We're twisting again to the other side. Exhaling into the outside of the knee at the front and the other one right behind you on the floor. Stretch up through the whole spine. Exhale, hip up in the back of you as you turn your hips, ribs, and shoulder, turning, looking behind you. Take a breath, deepening as much as you can. Stretch up through the spine. Exhale, turn your head toward the opposite shoulder, only turning your neck, not the whole spine. Take a moment and breathe as you get into that adjustment. And again, breathe and relax, stretch up. Exhale, turn your chin back to the back. Exhale again, relaxing. Inhale, bring the arms up, turning all the way back to the center. And release. And then we'll do the side stretches for the neck. So again, stretching out through the crown. Exhale, drop an ear over to the shoulder. Both shoulders, remember, stay down. The side you're tipping toward, bring that hand up to the outside of your head. Extra weight, not pressure, don't push, just let it happen. If you like that and it's feeling good along that opposite shoulder, bring the hand to the floor. Either calm down or fingertips, whatever works for you. Take a breath. Let that ear go even further, but keep both shoulders toward the floor. Take a breath, just relax. And then release your hands. Tip your head back upright. Feel the difference, so we've got to balance that out. Again, stretch it open. Exhale over to the opposite side. Take a moment and breathe as you relax. And then the side you're tipping toward him comes up to the outside of your head. Weight, not pressure. Getting a little bit extra stretch on that opposite shoulder and neck. Hand coming down, just let it go as far toward the floor as it wants if you love it. Breathe, deepening. Remember, the more you keep relaxing, the more that stretches. Just let it go. Exhale any time. Once again, when you're ready to release, both hands come down and tip your head back up. Once more, chin into that throat center. Roll the chin over to the side, back to the center, over to the other side. Back to the center. And return to neutral position. Bring your feet to the end of the mat. Find your staff position, activating your core, and then slowly roll to Take a moment as you get all the way down. Tuck the chin into your front center one more time. Stretch the back of the neck along the mat. And then roll your head back. 
And lift your chin slightly, but keep stretching through the back of your neck. And then bring the chin back to neutral position and just roll your head side to side, releasing that neck completely. Roll your shoulders around a couple of times and turn the hands, palms up slightly away from your side. Let the shoulders drop down toward the surface beneath you. Take a breath. Exhale, just let your body completely relax. Toes toward each other slightly, and then releasing that lower body as well. Tighten your face, scrunch your jaw, clench your teeth. Tighten it a little bit more and hold your breath. Exhale, let it all go. Let your whole body release as you release that scrunch of your face. Releasing the tightness of your jaw. And those shoulders relax even deeper into that surface beneath you. Just let everything go. Whole body relaxing deep into that first support. Breathing deep. Soften your jaw. Bring the tongue against the upper cheek and the back of the cheek. And as you exhale, let everything release and relax through your mouth, through your jaw. Through your shoulders, through your torso, soften your whole body. Let's let it go. And as you completely relax, just allow awareness of your body to release from your attention. And as other thoughts come to your mind, just let them drift away out of awareness either. Release the past, forget the future. Just let everything just drop with that awareness. Letting your body soften and sink, and your mind just drift and float. And allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Follow that awareness inward to the peace within. And take a few moments to be peace. Let's just keep relaxing as long as you have time and opportunity. If it's time to activate for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the one, to the body. And begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. Softening your jaw, stretching your shoulders, releasing and relaxing anything that's still trapped. And as you breathe more fully and stretch more completely, when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, or you're sitting by the slightly toward your heels and your heels toward your hips. Draw your knees up toward your heart, wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. When you're ready to release, Bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead of you in your day today. Thanks for joining me.